Now by Kate Tulenko, CEO and founder of Corvus Health. Kate, it's good to see you. Now regions of Latin America already are some of the most dangerous in the world for people who wish or need to terminate a pregnancy. Why is that? Mainly in Latin America, the influence of the Catholic Church, because the Catholic Church believes in um, protecting life from, um, from conception to, to natural death. So that's why you see it so often in Latin America. Now, since 2020, Mexico, Colombia and Argentina have decriminalized or legally uh, legalized voluntary abortion. But there are concerns in Latin America that abortion rights could face setbacks similar to the ones we've seen here in the U.S. How so? Well, a lot of it is linked to the rise of political conservatism. And you just had a piece on the fact that a far right party uh, won the recent election in Austria. That's an example of this sort of increasing conservatism globally that's driven a lot by the, the global uh, economic crisis and, and poly crisis uh, following uh, COVID. And uh, we also are seeing a lot more of this in countries that are uh, that feel threatened by migration. Uh, for example, pretty much most countries in Europe and in Latin America as well are below fertility rate. They're, they're below replacement rate fertility, which means that if the population is going to grow, they have to rely on migration. And so we're seeing in many uh, countries a pushback against this. And, and one of the ways that people think that they can increase the fertility rate is to ban or restrict access to abortions. Now, in terms of illegal abortions or, you know, seeking out an abortion administered by someone who's obviously not legally allowed to do it, can you talk a little bit about the risks that women face when, when seeking those kinds of abortions once it's pushed underground? Yes. So uh, the main risk is that the person may not be qualified. They may not know what they're doing. Uh, another risk is they may not be using, you know, a sterilized equipment or modern equipment. And then, of course, there is the infection risk. And if something does go wrong with the abortion, if the woman does get an infection, she may be reluctant to, to seek medical care and may die from an infection or die from bleeding or other complications of the illegal abortion. In fact, many supporters of the right to choose in the U.S. say that, you know, what Roe v. Wade did so long, so many years ago, it didn't cause more abortions. It just ended illegal and unsafe abortions. Yeah, I think one of the big things with a country like, or a region like Latin America, much like the global south in general, is that women often face acute sexual violence. And, you know, one of the issues around abortion is just allowing women to have, a, have the choice to, to not give birth to a child that may be born from rape, for example. What kind of things are being done to protect women in the global south? Well, you mean from rape or, or, or to have Protect access to abortion? There you go, yes. Okay, so um, right now El Salvador is the, the country in Latin America that has the strictest rules. Not only is abortion not allowed uh, in the case of rape, but the woman can be jailed for decades uh, for, for pursuing an abortion to, you know, to terminate a, a, a pregnancy that results from, from rape. And I don't really think there's there's much effective that can be done in these cases other than to make sure that, it's elite, it's, that abortion is legal and accessible for women who have been raped or, or better yet, is, is legal and accessible to, to all women. But it, it's really very difficult to, you know, pursue a, a more targeted approach. All right, Kate Chalenko, really appreciate your time.